what we can identify is that we have a grade 12 compound angle. Can you see it here? Cos, cos, sin, sin. And so if we look on our formula sheet, we've got the cos, cos, minus, sin, sin. So that's this one. And so what we can do now is we can rewrite it like this. So it tells us that that should turn into cos x plus 30 equals to 0 0.9. And now this is easy. We've been doing ones like this since grade 10. So what we do now is we get our reference angle by saying shifts, uh, shift cos of 0 0.9. And what we'll find is that the reference angle will be 25.84 degrees. Then what I do is I look at this and I see that it's cos, and they're saying where is cos positive? So on my cos diagram, I know that cos is positive here and here. So I will then divide my page into two halves, and I will work in quadrant one and quadrant four, and it's pretty easy from here on out. What we do is we always start with this one, x plus 30 equals, and x plus 30 equals. You don't always want to say x equals. Um, you got to. You you must start with whatever's inside this bracket. And then in quadrant one, you don't say 180 minus or 180 plus or 360 minus. You're just going to say the reference angle straight away, and then you're going to say plus k times 360 and then k is an element of z. Remember that if your teacher uses a different letter to me, that is absolutely fine. I have seen different letters. It's usually k or n. Now on quadrant four, at quadrant four, we would say 360 minus, because that's what quadrant four says. And then we're gonna say the reference angle. So that's gonna be 25.84 plus k times 360. k is an element of z. Now we're just gonna simplify. And so for this one, we're gonna end up getting negative 4.16 plus k times 360, k is an element of z. And then for the one on the right hand side, if you had to move the 30 over, you would eventually end up with x being 304.16 plus k times 360, k is an element of z.